You know, when I'm home, I don't listen to music because I spend so much time writing it. And I, lis I just listen to the sounds around me, like I'm listening to these sounds too now, even though we're talking. But when there's one of these festivals, I go, as you may have noticed, I go religiously to every single concert. It's my one opportunity to hear music. <laughs> and for the most part, I, I enjoy everything. Uh, last night, I was, um, I, I didn't really enjoy the, the Branca piece. It, it wasn't because it was so loud because I can put up with the loudness. But I was, uh, I felt negatively about the, what seemed to me to be the political implications. I wouldn't want to live in a society like that, hmm? in which someone would be uh, uh, requiring other people to do, uh, to do such an intense uh, thing together. I'm, I've been thinking more about it today, but the, I, di I really didn't like the experience. But as I think about it, I, I become more open to it. Not that I would embrace it, but, um, but at, at least I wouldn't forbid it. <laughs> But this is uh, this shows how wide and how changed our our um, our notion of of of, um, of composition is. I have some difficulty with it. The Branca is an example of sheer determination of, of one person to be followed by the others. Even if you, even if you ha, ha, couldn't hear, you could see the, the situation that, that is uh, not a shepherd taking care of the sheep, but of a of a of a le leader insisting that the people agree with him, giving them no freedom whatsoever. The only the only uh, breath of fresh air that comes is when the technology collapses. Hmm? The the amplifier broke. Hmm? That was the one one moment of, of freedom from the intention. Hmm? But the moment that it was reinstated, the intention resumed. But what is the difference? I mean, you're, you also have always determined the goals. Even if you said it's going to be a non-goal for me, then it's also a determination that you have thought before you wrote the piece. That you defined your non-goal as goal, also. No, that's a misuse of the language. If you if you say that a non-goal is a goal, then you're using the language to defeat the to defeat the language to defeat the mind. If if I can't say non-goal and mean non-goal hmm? instead of meaning goal again then the language is of no use. I have a different attitude toward life than, than he is expressing. It's not the same. But um, we, 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 can both, we can both live. I don't think, though, that 
that the image of um, of that power and intention and determination would make a society that I would want to continue living in. It, but you like it, so I would like to hear uh, more what is good about it. Would you want to live in such a society? I can't imagine wanting to live in such a society. It reminded, if, say, say it was uh, good intentions that he was expressing with uh, vehemence and power. It would be like one of these um, strange religious organizations that we hear about, wouldn't it? It would resemble that. Or if it was something political, it would resemble fascism. Uh, in neither case would I want to be part of it. I much prefer the thinking of sorrow, of, of anarchy, of, of uh, a freedom from such intention. That's how I feel. And I don't, I don't think by any means, any conceivable means, that Branca is a step in front of anything. <laughs> he may be popular at the moment, but popularity is nothing. Because what is popular now is not popular tomorrow. All of those things are change. Nothing is more fickle th than popularity. But it will never become popular music, this music. It won't, but I, th I thought it w in the program it says it is popular, that he's the star and very successful. Didn't you just he's say less, that? He's less successful than you are. I don't know what that means. I don't know uh, how successful I am. Uh, but, but what I'm doing now is, is trying to find the next piece which I'm to write. And so far, I haven't succeeded. <laughs> The music which he played last night was not written. Yes. No one was reading anything. Yes, they had stands, music stands with music. I didn't see it. Yeah. Everybody has a, had a stand. It was it is written music. Really? Yes. I didn't see any any music. Really? Yes. I must ask some other people. I must say I didn't see it. David Tudor's music now has to have David Tudor with it, otherwise it doesn't get played. And I think Branca is the same way, it has to have Branca. Laurie Anderson has to have Laurie Anderson. Uh, my music is quite different. I don't have to be present. There has been a time also in which composers said and wanted to stay as close as possible with their own music. Like the troubadours of the Middle Ages. Well, that's what the, these people are like. It's a return to the Middle Ages. But with the use of modern technology. In fact, it's the modern technology that makes it uh, Moyen-Age. Because uh, They make, they make circuits and so forth which, upon which they, they become habitually dependent. And if the, if, the, if the circuits don't work, don't function, the music collapses. It's, it's very different from um, writing a music which can be used by a stranger, someone you don't know.
or at least you cut the um, what's it called the cord that connects us to the mother in Flemish it's called the navelstreng yes at least to cut that <laughs> There was a beautiful remark by Margaret Mead. Do you know her name? Yes. I knew her. And she said that um, now that we live uh, longer than we did, that there's no reason why we should continue doing the same thing all the time. That we could, we could change more than we thought was proper before. I tr always try to find something new. The idea of newness is... It interests me, yes. And if you want to say then that always wanting something new is the same thing all the time, then again you're not using the language properly. <laughs> you were one step before me now. But weren't you going to go there? <laughs> I don't, I won't tell you. <laughs> At least you opened the door toward that idea. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind becoming open uh, to them. And that's why I say every now and then, can you tell me what it is that really interests you about it? has to do with non-communication. Just being? You mean being one thing? Making one sound and not saying anything? Hmm? But why the insistence? It's like a scream. It's uh, is, it a, is it in opposition to the environment? Is it a scream about something, or no? No, I don't think so. It's just a scream? Yeah. It's hopeless. Hopeless? Yeah. You mean because it's an end in, in itself? Yeah, it's, it's only about energies. It's an accumulation of energies without content, without dialectics in it, without communication, without feedback. And, and uh, uh, it's very libidinal. What does that mean? Oh, the through libido. full of desire. Yeah. Well, then it then it then it is dialectic because desire is for something other than itself. Is it erotic? I say, yes. But uh, n not with regard to anything loved, just with regard to itself? Probably. Then, then it's uh, purely narcissistic? Yes. Then of what use is it? It's probably useless. Why? Then how can you like it if it's useless? Or how can you use it if it's useless? <laughs> I find it I, I find it then terrifying. But you don't. Mm -hmm. I my knees were weak last night after that experience. I had trouble standing at the same time that I didn't want to sit down. Hmm? It's like a reflection of the sunshine on the building or something. Hmm? Well, I mean, when the sun is very bright and hits your eyes by being by hitting a building in a particular angle and you and you see a, a bright light come into you, know, something like that. Mm.
know, you were talking about the difference between using power and intelligence in music. Yes. And in the relation to the 21st century. Yes. If, if we follow the example of Branca, I doubt whether we would have such a century because no intelligence is, is um, suggested, only power and energy. Uh, we would more quickly, by those means, uh, e end ourselves even in the 20th century than get to the 21st. We, we're, that's the sort of thing we're doing, actually. If I say not by we now, the nations, I think we need a, a calmer uh, a use of our faculties. Uh, one of the things I dislike most about European music is the presence of climaxes. And what I see in Branca, as in Wagner, is a sustained climax. Hmm? It also suggests that what is not it is not climactic. Mm -hmm. the, one of the principal s statements that, for me in Zen Buddhism is Nichi Nichi Koreko Nichi. Every day is a beautiful day. To be able to to move one's attention and from one point to another without uh, feeling that one had left uh, some, something important behind is the, is the feeling which uh, I enjoy having and which I which I hope to, to give to others. So that each person can place his attention um, originally rather than in a, in a compelled way or in a constrained way. So that each person is um, in charge of himself. Hmm?